Howdy YouTube, welcome to Dude RV. Today, I find myself riding my little red scooter through Kayamichi Park Recreation Area on Hugo Lake, Oklahoma. on north of the border so got a little red got an extra battery and we are going to need it for this one get the camera seated there is uh, quite a bit of this part get up here on some pavement now we can officially cue the music All right, so we decided that we were, and I say we, Yappy and I, decided we were gonna go north just to see what there was to see. And then uh, Yappy had work come up and couldn't come with me. So I'm running solo. I was uh, initially kind of disappointed when I rolled in here. But you know, Corps of Engineer parks, they're always hit or miss. I guess any park is hit or miss, really, when it comes down to it. Got a big old speed bump. Boom. All right. But what I mean by that is you never know how, how well it's maintained on a financing level and on a uh, host level. This one's got, you know, quite a bit of litter laying around. And it, it, it has some signs of financial neglect. But it's grown on me in the last 24 hours or so. And I'll show you why I think it's a nice place to camp. All right, one thing I just noticed is you can park on that side, but you can't park on this side of the causeway. That way you can go fish in that little area down there. There is a marina that's located in the state park, which does not allow RVs in the state park. They have cabins and some really um, very primitive tent camping. So I'm not going to show you anything on the, I'm not going to do a scooter tour of Hugo Lake State Park. Uh, I'll have some segments of, you know, what the cabins look like in the experiential video for Kaimichi Park. So that'll be uh, in the COE playlist. And in the, I'll probably put a card up at the top as well. And it's a beautiful day. I think it's June 12, 2020. I think it's 12, I don't know. It is June. Saw some young men fishing in that body of water earlier. So this morning I went and bought minnows. There is a brush pile, a 40 foot long brush pile submerged right down from where I'm camped. So 
I'm going to see if I can catch some crappie this evening. All right, let's go down Juniper Road. There are actually three camping loops in this park. And Juniper Road is where you'll find your 50 amp. Most of, many of these are ADA accessible. I say most, many are ADA accessible with concrete pads that are all at the same level. These are the only concrete pads in the park. There's also from, if you're in an RV and you want an easy water access point, this would be it. There's not a lot of shade, as you can see. Get those looks. Well, now, wouldn't you? Look at that. This is definitely a boater's paradise. There does not seem to be a whole lot of boats on the water. There are a number of boat ramps available. Of course, it is Friday, so it may get real busy tomorrow. We will definitely be doing a battery swap on this run. We have a total of 12 miles to ride. And this is going to run longer than my typical 20 minute video because it's a long drive. It's a pretty drive though. I've seen quite a few deer. These are not your typical, you know, Texas State Park deer that are so used to seeing people will stand there and watch you go by. Well, these are very skittish, as deer should be. Seen a couple of turkeys and plenty of birds. If I were to compare this to my last Corps of Engineer Park to visit, which was Lake uh, Pat Mays, Pat Mays West, from the scooter perspective, this is a lot more fun to ride the scooter in. Uh, from the camping perspective, Lake Pat Mays was, was, was way better. And you'll see why when I get into, we get into the other loops. Some of the campsites here, most of them uh, are grass. Of course, they're probably gravel with grass grown over them. But I would sure have concerns about putting Miss V up on her jacks without knowing what's underneath. This takes us down to the day use area and the beach. There are two group pavilions here. We're gonna go against the arrows so you can get a good look at the beach.
There's a swing set, a climbing structure, and a couple picnic tables. Bring the kids down here and take a cool dip in the lake. This lake is on the Kayamichi River. There's the beach. All nice and groomed. Head back uphill. A lot of the shoreline here on on Hugo Lake is uh, rocky cliff, very steep. Especially over in the on the state park, man, I, I was just it's 20 feet down to the water or more in places. One of my scooter buddies, Mark Kohler. Updated his challenger, added a two lithium added two lithium ion battery packs to his challenger. Now, a challenger is normally lead acid battery. And he converted it to lithium ion. He says he gets way more distance with his converted challenger than I get with this triad. I wonder if it's just the battery pack. Mark, if, you watch, if you're watching, post in the comment down there, why do you think your battery pack gets better range than mine? But even with doing a swap, I cap out 14 miles if I'm lucky. And that's, that's running wide open. So we're gonna come back to Maple Road and the Nettle Pine camping loop because that's where I'm set up. We're gonna go visit the three other loops out here. And I loop one of those is boat ramp. So I guess actually, I. I it's four camping loops because one of those is equestrian and it is I, I would have to say probably the best equestrian camping loop that i've seen in my journeys Gail Johnson, if you're watching, this might be a place you want to bring your horses. temperature is actually lower than the ambient temperature. It's very unusual for this part of the country. You know, usually it's, it's 89 degrees and it feels like 99 or 100. sure what the I guess those are for the wastewater treatment but they are 
The dams have been opened. They're not treating any wastewater now. All right, so here at Kayamichi Park, you actually only have the one boat ramp. So there's a boat ramp at the marina in the state park. And there's a boat ramp below the dam, as well as a boat ramp on the east side of the dam. So for you boat ramp fans, there's your boat ramp. There's also a fishing dock here. And we'll be going, uh, when we get over on Juniper Road, uh, we'll talk about the brush pile, submerged brush pile. Battery's getting low. We'll get up to the top of the hill. We're gonna go as far as we can with what we got. I think we're a little over halfway. We are good. This is a good place for a battery swap. that I have seen signs for. I, I haven't seen a map showing where those, anywhere, showing where the, the hiking trails are, but there's one that comes in right here. Right, we'll catch that on our way out. And none of these have a hard surface. But if you don't need a hard surface, if you don't mind the grass, I think this is probably the prettiest camping loop.
right. Let's head to the equestrian camping loop. Recreation.gov, there are trail maps. It's not typically a real high priority item for me, as uh, I won't be doing any hiking. And most trails are not ADA friendly. But I can't get the scooter down there. blind curves here so just be advised don't haul butt down this road I had a guy nearly hit me yesterday he was just going too dang fast all right so we're gonna go against the grain here as well so you get a look at how the, the back end sites are laid out there are the corrals or vault toilets. There's corrals there and there as well. And that's actually, this one has lake access. Funny thing is, I've I've only seen one horse since I've been here. And I've been down here several times. There were a lot of people here yesterday. But only one horse. I don't know what that means. That means there's no horses. To go. That makes the video that much longer. loop that we're going to if, especially if you have a, a tow behind or a big rig and that is a dead-end road 
with a very small turnaround. Uh, fortunately, I, had, I unloaded the scooter and scouted it out before I went down. Because uh, if I'd have gone down there and had to turn around, I'd have, I'd have had to unhook the truck. Of course, I had to unhook the pickup anyway. But just know if you're coming down here with a big fifth wheel, it's going to be tight trying to turn around. in the park one of them is on the 50 amp loop and the other one is here and we've got the, the, the pine road is closed off but we're gonna go take a look Just because we have enough battery to do it. I'm not sure why this is closed. These are uh, electric only sites with water in the middle. Well, there's community water out here. That's a pretty sight right there, though. And I'm not sure what that pavilion thing is there in the middle. It's not really big enough for a group pavilion. Alright, so we've got to go back off-road again. Oop. Phone's ringing. Alright. Level one friends should just check on you. All right, back on the road. Rather rough. Now keep in mind, this is, this is Friday. In the middle of June. You want a quiet campground, just a couple hour drive from Dallas. This will probably do the fill the bill for you. All right, so this is the dead end road. This is where I'm set up. There's Miss V right there. Fortunately, I had a little red that I could scoot down here and check this out. And that brush pile, if you're looking to do some bank fishing, it's right down at the end of this road. Right out there where that buoy is. 
Now that's what my neighbors told me. get down here in your big motor home you're gonna to have to uh, back it up have to do a three-point turn we are coming to the end Still have some battery left over. All right, all right, all right. Those are always so much fun. Hold on, I, I got, I'm tangled up. Those are always so much fun. And hey, I, I really appreciate y'all coming along for the ride. Where's the sun? Uh, there's the sun. That way you're not looking at the sun. Put a polarized filter on. We're gonna we're gonna see. I'm gonna see how that looks. Hey, if you enjoyed our ride through Kaimichi Park on Hugo Lake, man, hit that thumbs up button. And if this is your first visit and you enjoyed the FPV tour of Kaimichi Park, hey, click on that subscribe button. I do two videos for every place I camp: the scooter tour and the camping video. For those of you who have been following along, I am truly grateful. Thank you so very much. I am honored to provide you with this infotainment. With that being said, y'all come back now, you hear?